welcome back to Epic Game Tech. Nowadays, most of the new systems come with SSD drives. But did you hear someone saying that SSDs are getting slow when they fill up? Is it a myth or not? That's what I will be testing today. So let's find out together. If you are interested in a similar content, be sure to subscribe and click that bell button so you don't miss upcoming videos. And let's get started. My friend just bought a Samsung 860 EVO 2TB SSD drive. While it's a really nice drive, it's also quite expensive. When I asked him why did he buy such a big SSD, he told me he does not want to lose performance while filling SSD with data. Fair enough, but he was relying on some posts from various forums. Well, I borrowed his Samsung SSD and wanted to test this myth by myself. Where is that threshold? When the SSD starts to slow down and you should stop filling it with your files. This is a system I was using to do Crystal Disk Mark SSD tests. I've decided to go with a default 1GB file size test and started the first run on SSD. The stats looks great and so I've started to fill 2TB SSD with dummy files. I've benchmarked half filled and nearly full SSD, left with just 1GB free space for this test. And to my surprise, the speed was all the same, even with almost fully filled SSD. Well, well, wait a minute, what about the cache size? I totally forgot it and didn't take into account before any benchmarks. And to make it more interesting, I've decided to add a few more SSDs into my testing marathon. After I made some research, it appears Samsung has a 2GB cache size. Also, I've added Crucial MX500 1TB SSD with 1GB of cache. And the smallest one by today's standards, Team Group L3 EVO 120GB version. But it was quite hard to find any info about the cache size on this particular SSD. I've spotted few reviews where people mention 2GB of cache, so it's not a confirmed number though. By the way, in case you want to grab an SSD for yourself, you'll find all the links in the description below. Ok. I've started to benchmark all the SSDs. For bigger ones Samsung and Crucial, this time I've decided to go with the biggest 64GB test file available on a Crystal Disk Mark. I wanted to be sure the test file is way bigger than a cache size. On a team group, I couldn't benchmark with such a huge file, probably since it's more than half of the whole SSD capacity. And in a real world scenario. No one would use 120GB SSD for such a huge files. So I've used the default 1GB test file here, since going with a bigger one actually affected the whole SSD performance, even when it was completely empty. So this time I've tested half full and almost full, meaning I left just as much space as it was needed for a test file. Starting with Samsung EVO. And the numbers are totally identical on both tests. Even though a test file size was 64GB and it has only 2GB of cache, somehow Samsung managed to hit the same speeds anyway. Next one, Crucial SSD. Well, it's almost the same. I say almost since the biggest difference is 4% in random reads. But in general, the difference is so tiny that it might be in a margin of the error, having in mind I was running with such a big test files. Team Group is the last and the smallest SSD I've tested. Same story as with Crucial. Just 1 or 2% difference in a few places. Wow, I really didn't think. I would see similar results across all the SSDs, since there was no speed slowdown in any of my benchmarks. So is it a myth 
maybe older generation SSDs had this issue and the newer ones don't? In case you guys did a similar test, please share your knowledge and experience in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed my video, then click like and subscribe if you liked it and see you soon!